Hi, this is Ashit Goel from BIMSERV Education. In this video, we will learn about setting up True North and Project North in Revit. This video is part of Revit architecture courses available at BIMSERV Education. Join this course for downloadable resources such as templates, assignments, and live instructor-led sessions where you can ask questions and get the answers. On completing the course, you get a downloadable certificate of completion as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button for new videos every day. Setting up True North and Project North in Revit is a simple but an important process and should be followed as part of the best practices of Revit modeling. Let us understand this process. While there are multiple methods of setting up Project North, I'll use a simple and easy to use option for this. What is True North and Project North? True North is the real world geographical North. This is identified on a survey plan or a map prepared using various surveying methods and technologies. For example, here we see the compass on Google Earth indicates North. And here in this case, this is what our site is. And again, it is the compass that indicates the true north. Project north is a notional north. This is related to our project and is typically the primary axis of our project. According to the most commonly used graphic standards, project north always points upwards to the top of our monitor or our drawing sheet. We can also say that the top edge or face of our building should be parallel to the top edge of a sheet and this face represents the north face of our building. Let's open the exercise file setting true north and project north dot rvt. I'll first set the true north and use the true north which is indicated in the DWG file that I imported in my previous video. This was creating topo surface in Revit from imported CAD instance. You can find a link to this video in the description box below. To draw the true north, I'll switch to Annotate tab and then select Detail Line Tool. I'll now select True North from the Line Style drop down here and then select Pick Line Tool from the drop panel. I'll then pick this vertical line to trace over to draw the true north. Let me extend this to make it a little longer. Now, while my true north line is selected, or if it is not selected, I'll select the line again. And 
then either use the move or copy tool to move the true north line and place it to position I want. I'll select the move tool and then pick a point somewhere in the middle of the true north line to use this as a base point and then move it to the lower right corner of the rectangle representing the tentative location of my building. I have now placed my true north and now I need to set my project north. To do this, I will select the shorter right edge of the rectangle. and then change the line style to Project North. Let me check the angle between True North and my Project North. To do this, I will select this Dimension tool from Quick Access Toolbar and then use the Angular tool to draw the angle dimension. I now have this angle as 22 degrees. I need to make sure that the orientation of my view is set to Project North. If this is set to True North, change it back to Project North. I will switch to Manage tab and then select Position tool and then select the option Align Selected Line or Plane and then pick the Project North line. This now sets up the Project North. Revit also displays a message indicating and confirming that the true north has been set. Also notice the entire view now rotates such that the upper or the longer face of the rectangle repre representing my building becomes horizontal. And this is exactly what was required. If I change the view properties to true view to true north the view rotates back to the original position where the true north line is perfectly vertical the way it was originally. When I select the project base point symbol it reports the angle to the true north as 338 degrees. This is equal to 360 minus 22 degrees. This concludes the topic setting true north. In the next video, we'll learn about setting up levels for our project. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe.